Okay, so this is a movie monkey rant about uh, Inside Out. I watched Inside Out last night. Um, this is not a fresh review. It is a uh, day old review, and I think um, there's still a lot of insight that I get to uh, bring into this conversation. Um, some things that I've noticed inside the movie. Uh, this is filled with spoilers. There is nothing that in, is in here that is probably not a spoiler. It's going to start with a spoiler. It's going to end with a spoiler. There's tons of spoilers. If you haven't seen Inside Out yet, I check it out. Highly recommend it. Um, highly recommend a second time viewing and probably even a third time view. I can't really recommend that yet because I haven't seen it three times, but I definitely have seen it twice. And I'm going to uh, kind of blaze this trail, kind of speak into the movie and what I really enjoyed about the movie and anything that I can think of in, on the top of my head that I did not enjoy about this movie. Um, very few things. If I can think of any, we'll see what happens. So first, I really enjoyed watching it for the second time. Um, this movie is all about um, a child's life, looking at a child's life from the perspective of her brain and how her brain works and the emotions that are running uh, her brain. And they break these emotions down to five different emotions. The first emotion is joy. Um, the second emotion is sadness. The third emotion is, uh, f it wasn't fear, but it was... Um, um, like being prepared or being um, cautious, caution, and then uh, disgust and anger. So, so they have five emotions, and they're all delineated by different colors. Joy is yellow, um, uh, sadness is blue. Um, this, the one that I want to say is fear, uh, that is like. Caution is purple. You get disgust who's green and anger, which is red. Very cool. Like they use these colors very effectively inside the movie. Um, and the movie is is about how your brain takes in information, uh, how key events in your life um, operate your personality and major pillars of being uh, in your personality, different personality uh, pieces that kind of drive you in your decision making. Um, so much going on in this movie, so many details. It's definitely a, a two view movie because the first time I really experienced a lot of joy, um, bright colors, great environment, really interesting creative ideas about how to convey really complex ideas. There's even a section inside the movie that has to do with abstract thought and how uh, the, he, she is. Is, um, is thinking about like isolation and what isolation means to her and she's then they like they have a, a crate of memories that they're going to throw into this abstract thought machine to kind of connect these memories that she has to an abstract thought which is really super interesting um has a lot to do with what i'm into right now which is um uh per uh being a uh a ways of being kind of coach and, and, and looking into ways of being that drive you as a person in, in rewriting how your brain is you know, taking in information. So it's super cool. Um, the, the story is that this girl, little girl who's about 12 years old or 11 years old moves from Minnesota to San Francisco. And during that move, she comes, a, she comes in contact with having to process the move and by processing the move she needs to feel sadness and she has an internal conflict between joy and sadness where she wants to be a joyful person so she doesn't want to feel sadness she thinks it's wrong so when she comes in contact with the situation that has sadness as a core memory to, to add upon her personality matrix, she shuts down. This little girl shuts down and, and what happens is the two characters who are joy and sadness gets to get thrown into long-term memory. And so she's no longer operating with five personalities or, or 
five feelings, but she's operating from three feelings, which is anger, disgust, and caution, or, or whatever the purple one is. And uh, they're trying to run the show, and they're and but they can't figure out how to interact with the situation because they want her personalities want her to be happy, but she's she can't have she she's shut down in sadness. She can't, she doesn't want to feel the sadness of the move and what the move is, so she can't move on from that. So when people touch on her core. Um, beliefs and her core personality traits, it hurts, and doesn't. And she does not know how to react to it. So she starts losing her personality, and she starts losing her personality until eventually she loses all ability to come in contact with any of her per core personality traits, and then her whole operation, her whole system shuts down where she can't even have a, a train of thought. She's acting irrationally because she wants to move back to Minnesota. She is going to run away and move back to Minnesota. And so she destroys, she contradicts all of her core personalities in doing that. And then she completely shuts down. And, it, and joy and sadness is tr are trying to get to the headquarters to so she can she can feel sadness because through this journey joy starts to really understand where her sadness is coming from and that sadness is something that needs to happen that is something that needs to be addressed so they get back there and she has this emotional experience with her parents where she she accesses sadness in a deep way because that move has caused her her core belief system to be in jeopardy and with sadness she moves past her the pain of moving and embraces her family and re-embrace and like and re-embraces her family and, and embraces the move and embraces the move as a good thing because she she fully experiences sadness in that moment so then she can operate again and, and, and now instead of her core memories being attached to one of these five these these five emotions that sadness and um, joy create a complex memory that show her that sadness is all right, and sadness will be. And, and with sadness, she gets to, to be joyful. And with sadness, she gets to feel joy. With with sadness, she gets to feel comforted, and supported. And that support gives her, you know, joy. And it strengthens her family bond because she knows it's okay to express sadness. And then it shows later in that scene that disgust is with you know, hate and, and that, it, and then hate is with joy and that, and that caution is with sadness and, and, and caution is, is with, is, is, um, that, that it's very beautiful and it, and it's really easy it's like easy to follow and it could use a couple of walkthroughs to see these kinds of things there's all there's other things in there that are really super complex like like su really complex things that go on in your brain that it, you might not be conscious to and it brings it out in such a way that it's is really easy to um to comprehend um, this I really enjoy this movie, and I don't see anything really wrong with it. Um, it's funny at times. It's so sad at times. So sad at times. It's very touching, um, and it's it's a really cool way of looking at, at at the brain, and a really cool way of looking at about how you interact with your environment, and and being able to express sadness and express joy and express anger and express disgust and express these emotions that have a bad connotation because you always like I want to be happy I want to be joyful 
I want to convey that to people be, because I want them to feel comfortable, comforted that they're doing things that are okay. And, and that's not the case, and that's not reality. Really cool movie. I highly recommend it. This was like a little rant, but it was really just a synopsis. Maybe I should say synopsis. Sometimes these get to be rants, and sometimes these get to be super introspective, amazing stuff. Um, it's a really cool way to um, come up with emotions, and I think it's a great kids movie, and it's a great to expose your children to something that um, shows that sadness is okay, and that um, feeling your emotions is, is something that's healthy, and that uh, great joy can come from completely feeling your emotions and, and then being loved without and knowing that there's no conditions on people's love. That love is the purest kind of love is um, unconditional. And, and people and everyone should experience love. So, enjoy. So, I'm complete.